Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Proxmox on uh, the VMware Workstation Pro. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know VMware Workstation Pro is now available free for personal use. So you can use it in order to install Proxmox on it instead of installing it on a bare metal so why you can do that so if you want to just uh, perform tests or to get familiar with uh, proxmox you can just install it on your windows machine and use it for testing purposes okay so in this video i'm going to show you actually how you can do that so if you go to actually uh, Google and you type download VMware Workstation Pro, you get directed to the VMware actually website, which now actually is part of the Broadcom network. Okay. And I will uh, put you a link on the description where you can download actually uh, Workstation uh, Pro without even uh, register an account with Broadcom. Okay. So for this video you need of course Workstation Pro and you need also to download the Proxmox ISO. So also you can go to the Proxmox website, so you will find all the link on the description in order to download the version of the of uh, Proxmox that you want to use, okay? So here we'll be using actually Proxmox 8.2 ISO in order to install it, okay? So let's begin. So first thing first, we have of course to launch our VMware Workstation Pro. So here I'm using uh, actually Workstation 16, but the latest version is on the recording of this video is 17. Okay, but it doesn't matter. So let's begin the process of actually creating a virtual machine that will hold actually Proxmox. So let's create a virtual machine. So we click on this button here and we get actually this welcome to the new virtual machine wizard. Okay. So let's choose the custom actually advanced choice and we go next. And here for the hardware compatibility we'll choose the latest one okay we go next and here is the important step where actually you have to provide the ISO image for your Proxmox okay so let's choose it so me it's on the download folder and of course as you can see here we have to choose Proxmox 8.2 ISO so let's choose it and we click open then we go next so for the guest operating system we choose Linux because as you may know uh, Proxmox is based on the Debian Linux so you just choose Linux and for the version you choose the latest version available of actually Debian so for me that would be Debian 10 64 bit but for you if you're using uh, the mware extension 17 you will find it's debian actually 12 okay and you go next so here you can choose the name for the virtual machine so let's call it proxmox And of course, you have also to choose the location where you will put your virtual machine. So for me, I will leave that as a default, but you can of course uh, change it. You click just on this browse button and you choose the folder where you want to put actually your virtual machine. Okay. Then you go next. So here you choose a number of processors that you want to actually specify for your virtual machine. 
so here I will choose for me for example four cores okay let's go next then here you choose the memory for your virtual machine so I will choose for example 16 so it depends on your config so the better you have more cores and more memory it will be good for your virtual machine okay so let's choose 16 and we go next and for the network connection I will keep with the default so I will use the network address translation and next for the IO control tab I will just uh, keep the recommended and go next for the virtual disk type also I will choose the recommended SCSI type and here I will actually create a new virtual disk so I will go also next then here you have to specify the size of your uh, virtual machine so let's choose so because Proxmox actually will hold other virtual machines so it's better to have uh, 60 for example gigabytes as actually uh, disk size but for me I will just choose 40 so it depends on the size of your hard disk and I will allocate space now okay and I don't want to split virtual disk into multiple files so I will just store virtual disk as a single file and I will go next so your disk file now is 40 gigabyte disk and you can also put it whenever you want so let's just go next so this is the final step for creating your virtual machine one important thing is to choose a custom hardware so if you want to change something but for us in order to use what we call nested virtual machines we click on the processor and uh, you have to make sure that virtualize intel vtx is chosen so we have to click on it okay and we close our window then we go to finish and now the process will be actually initiated so the first step for this process is to create the virtual disk actually a virtual machine so now the virtual disk has been created and now we are presented with this window where actually you can uh, power on the virtual machine so let's do that so I will click on this link here power on this virtual machine in order to launch our actually Proxmox And here we go after a while you will get this welcome to proxmox virtual environment screen when actually you can just install it using the first option which is to install proxmox virtual environment using the graphical user interface and the process is actually pretty easy just a couple of next 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 and you have also to provide the IP address for your Proxmox and Proxmox will be actually installed as a virtual machine on VMware Workstation Pro so that was just a brief video to show you how you can install actually Proxmox virtual environment on VMware Workstation Pro so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel 
and leave a comment or a like. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.